This animation begins by showing a family on a spaceship. They have a son named Willie, and they are on a space expedition in search of new species. Willie, who was seen playing a hologram game, was approached by his mother to have breakfast together. After finishing his breakfast, Willie rushed to help his father, then his father gave him the task of taking pictures of the rocks using the camera. But the lazy Willie doesn't want to do his job and instead prefers to continue playing the game. At the same time, the spaceship is having a bit of trouble when entering a region full of asteroids. The spaceship began to be hit by asteroids which made the ship experience shocks. When the spaceship shakes, Willie is trying to find a place to take shelter, but he fell while running when a very strong shock occurred. On the other hand, Willie's parents are trying to find their child's whereabouts through a surveillance camera connected to a monitor. When his whereabouts were found, they immediately told Willie to go to the control room. However, the asteroids that continuously hit their spaceship managed to destroy the ship's shield. Willie's parents immediately ordered Willie into the capsule to save himself. After Willie manages to get out, he sees the spaceship explode. Luckily, Willie's parents managed to survive. But because of the incident, Willie and his parents became separated. From the monitor screen of the emergency plane, his dad tried to calm Willie down so he wouldn't panic. He reminded Willie to always follow safety protocols and wait for them to pick him up. Willie tried to calm down and obey. After a while in space, Willie's capsule enters an unknown planet and he manages to land safely. From inside the capsule appears a robot named Buck, which is designed to protect passengers who experience emergency landings. Buck then begins to analyze the safety of the planet they are visiting. It turns out that the planet has oxygen that is good for humans. Buck then opened the capsule door and turned on the transmitter signal so that their location could be found by the rescue team. While arranging things, Buck saw a sad Willie. Buck tries to comfort Willie by giving him a device. When he was playing with it, suddenly the ground began to shake. It turned out that the vibration came from a stone monster. The rock monster then started attacking them, and Buck immediately took Willie away from the place. They both hide behind a rock and Buck tries to retrieve his transmitter and battery. After Buck managed to retrieve his belongings, suddenly the ground shaking occurred again. It turned out that the rock they were hiding in was a stone monster similar to the previous one. Buck and Willie immediately ran, but the two monsters were very fast chasing them. Buck then turns into a motorcycle so he can take Willie away faster. In the midst of running away, Buck's spare battery fell, and they were forced to give up the battery because it was too dangerous to go back there. After successfully escaping, they both continued their journey to find a safe place to live. During the trip, Willie always tries to take pictures of every new animal species he encounters, but Buck feels Willie's actions are very dangerous and tries to get rid of all the animals that Willie approaches. Their journey continued. For hours, Buck and Willie had passed various places until they finally arrived at a place that Buck thought was safe to set up base camp. Buck asks Willie to stay while he goes to check around. When Buck leaves, Willie meets an animal that is being chased by another animal. Willie tried to help the animal by giving his chocolate to the animal who wanted to attack them, but his efforts failed and instead made the animal even more angry. Willie immediately ran as fast as possible to get away from the animal and went to Buck's place. Buck who saw Willie in danger, immediately saved Willie and chased away the bad animal. After they survive, Willie introduces the animal he brought to Buck and gives him the name Flash. Unfortunately, Buck doesn't like Flash and kicks him out because Buck thinks Flash is useless. In the evening, they made a base camp and lit a bonfire while resting. And next morning, they started their journey and saw Flash following them from a distance. In the middle of the trip, Willie was hungry and then Buck tried to find food for him. But all the food that Buck gave poisoned Willie. Even so, Buck is still trying to find fruit that is safe to eat. When Buck was about to take a fruit, the fruit exploded and covered Buck's body with a sticky liquid like glue which eventually trapped his body against the tree. Willie tries to free Buck but falls down. Flash who saw it, immediately followed Willie. Flash then showed the type of fruit that was safe to eat. Meanwhile, Buck was still trying to get away from the glue. After he managed to escape, Buck rushed after Willie. Buck who had just arrived, shooed Flash away. Even so, Flash still met Willie secretly. One day, unbeknownst to Buck, Willie and Flash were playing together. When they arrived at a place, Willie saw a giant beetle. He immediately took a picture of the beetle. However, his actions actually made the beetle fall, causing the beetle's horn to break. Then Willie tried to fix it and it worked. After that, Willie and Flash continued to play at a lake. Not long after, Buck caught up with Willie and scolded him for lying, and accidentally touched Willie's hand with a poisonous plant that made him lose consciousness. Buck tries to find an antidote to the poison but to no avail. Meanwhile, Flash who saw the incident, immediately rushed to get the antidote for Willie. Flash manages to get the antidote and goes straight to him. Currently, Willie's condition is getting worse, then Flash gives the antidote and immediately Willie's condition begins to improve. 
Flash's actions this time managed to get Buck to allow him to follow them. That night, they decided to sleep. But when he wakes up in the morning, Willie is surprised to see Flash turn to stone. Willie is very worried about the state of Flash. Then Buck analyzes and says if it is the life cycle of Flash, and soon Flash will undergo a metamorphosis. Sure enough, not long after Flash came out of his cocoon, his appearance changed slightly. After that, the three of them worked together to build a house. When their house was just finished, suddenly the weather turned bad. Flash immediately warned Buck and Willie to take shelter. But Willie, who thought that it would only rain like water on Earth, didn't want to heed Flash's warning. A few moments later, it started to rain, but there was something strange about the rain. It turns out that rain on the planet is not just water but hail. Over time, the size of the ice cubes becomes larger. It was too late when they decided to save themselves because the ice chunks that fell were already very large. In the end, Buck decides to make a shield to save them, even though the shield will consume a lot of battery. After the rain stopped and they managed to survive, Buck said he would leave Willie for a while because his battery was running low. Of course, Willie doesn't want that because he needs Buck. But Buck is more concerned with the rescue signal transmitter in his body and chooses to use the power saving mode. With a sad feeling, Willie pushes Buck's body along with Flash to go for cover in a cave. Arriving there, Willie intends to retrieve Buck's spare battery that fell while escaping from the rock monster. Flash tries to stop Willie because it is very dangerous, but he still insists on going there. Moments later, the two of them arrived at the rock monster territory, and when the monsters woke up, something bad happened. Flash is injured by the monster's attack, and Willie quickly saves Flash. Willie feels very guilty to Flash and apologizes and then brings him back. But on his way back, Willie fell into a hole. After reaching the bottom, Willie tried to climb up by hooking the rope but couldn't. When he was almost desperate, Willie saw the same horn as the beetle horn he had repaired. The horn serves to summon a giant beetle. Willie then tried to use the horn, and moments later, a giant beetle came. Willie immediately threw the rope at one of the beetle's horns and managed to get out of the hole. Then he rushed over to take Flash with him. It didn't feel like 10 months had passed since Willie had first come to the planet. Now Willie is used to living on the planet. With Flash's body growing bigger and bigger every day, the two of them went exploring the forest. One day, they set a trap to capture a picture of an animal that has very fast movements. When the animal fell into the trap, Willie could not take a picture because the animal immediately fled. Willie and Flash immediately chased the animal to get the picture. That night, Willie and Flash rest at the base camp they built. While relaxing, Willie sees a rescue satellite fly by. He immediately went to see Buck to tell him, but there was no response from Buck because his battery had run out. Eventually, Willie decides to go to Rock Monster territory to retrieve Buck's spare battery and restart the rescue signal transmitter. Unfortunately, Flash can't help because today, Flash has entered a metamorphosis phase into a cocoon. After saying goodbye to Flash, Willie asks his other best friend, Beetle, to accompany him into the Rock Monster territory. At first, all went well. Willie walked quickly and managed to retrieve Buck's spare battery. But suddenly, when the wreckage of the plane fell, all the rock monsters in that place woke up and immediately attacked Willie. When Willie was trying to dodge, he saw Beetle running towards him. Willie rushed to Beetle and ran away from the herd of stone monsters. Just when Willie felt safe, suddenly there was a group of rock monsters waiting for him. Willie was hit by the monster attack until Buck's spare battery fell bouncing. When Willie is almost eaten by the rock monster, Flash comes to his rescue. After the three of them escape, Willie then makes a plan to distract the rock monster. Flash is in charge of taking spare batteries, while Willie is in charge of distracting monsters using a hologram. Their plan was a success and managed to defeat the stone monsters. After successfully getting the spare battery, Willie rushed back to base camp. Arriving there, Willie immediately put the battery into Buck's body. And after that, Buck came back to life and started talking to Willie. Buck feels very proud of Flash because all this time, he has helped Willie to survive on the planet and managed to defeat the rock monster. Then Buck sends a signal to the rescue satellites. Their signal is received and is now being processed. The next day, the rescue team came to pick up Willie. Before leaving, Willie invites Flash to go with him to planet Earth. But Flash refuses because he doesn't want to leave his planet. Then Willie and Buck set off to leave the planet on a rescue plane. Willie looks very sad, but he promises Flash that he will come back to the planet. Arriving at the mothership, Willie meets his parents. He is very happy and hugs them, then Willie starts to tell his experience there. Willie also says that one day he wants to return to the planet to meet Flash, and the movie ends. From Willie's story, we can learn to be able to rise and be strong, even though we are facing difficult things, so that we can survive wherever we are. Never feel hopeless, even in the most difficult times, because there must be good people who will lend a hand to help us.